Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN with Computer Care Clinics. Tip of the day. Hey, we've got a lot of people running Windows 8 now. Not because they wanted to, but kind of because they were forced to. But regardless, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can make Windows 8 behave a little bit more like something you're used to. For instance, on one of our prior videos, we showed you the Start 8 button, which gives you the, uh, the interface of Windows 7. Actually, I have a button that looks just like the Windows XP Start button that they... Uh, uh, actually did away with, unfortunately, but I bought one of the earlier versions, so I was lucky enough to get that button. You can still get it, too, if you're kind of tricky, but that's another video for another day. But uh, what people are asking us about is this uh, solitaire icon. So they're like, where's solitaire? Well, I have to tell you, it's an app now. It's not included with the Windows installation. However, with that said, it still is free, and you can get that from the Microsoft Store. You have to log in with a Microsoft account. Go to the Windows um, Windows 8 interface and pick it up here and just do a search for, uh, if I can get my thing here, just do a solitaire. See, I don't know if I have it on this thing. And it's a really nice, they've done a really nice job with it. Again, it is completely free. Uh, you want to look for the Microsoft Solitaire Collection. Uh, I'm not sure if I have it installed, so I'm going to install here. And I'm logged in and... Uh, uh, I guess you have to do a Microsoft account, but that's okay. So I'm going to put my Microsoft. Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, clinic uh, Outlook. So you can sign up for a Microsoft account using whatever email address if you haven't done that already. You don't have to use a Microsoft uh, address. Uh, and then you download this Microsoft Solitaire Collection. Again, you probably saw there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, it's already installed here. That's cool. So uh, once that's done, we'll go ahead and close this bad boy. And what you want to do is get this on your desktop so you don't have to go to the Windows 8 interface if you're trying to avoid that like a lot of people that we've helped out. So we have this old Start button, which... It just makes a lot more sense if you came up this way. If you've been using Windows since the XP or even the 98 days, you're used to this start button interface. And it's hard to teach an old dog new trick. So um, what we did is we did a Google search. I had no idea how to do this. So fortunately, this genius guy, G. Dalton, figured out how to do it. So there is a shortcut which is some kind of cryptic, crazy programming something or other. So he says create a shortcut on your desktop. So right-click on your desktop, anywhere on your desktop, and then you're going to left-click on New, and then left-click on Shortcut. And it's going to say type the location. So what I've done is, and I'll put all this in the comments below, I've copied this information from this web page, and I uh, just pasted it right in here. And then I went next, and I'm going to call it Solitaire, and then I'm going to click Finish. Now I'll have this obscure-looking shortcut on my desktop. It looks like a, a DOS prompt. And you double-click on it, and it takes you right to the Solitaire uh, collection. Now you'll be in the Windows uh, 8 menu because this is a Windows 8 app, but that's no big deal. You can close it here. It takes you back to your desktop. Now the, the second question is how to make this pretty. And uh, Dalton again... This guy's my hero, man. He said, uh, just use a spider solitaire image and uh, find a solitaire icon. So I went and did a Google search for a solitaire icon, and I found this website up here. And again, I'll put this in the comments. You can download it as an icon, save it somewhere where you know where it is. Uh, I'm just going to throw it on my desktop for now. We'll call it solitaire. Dot. Make sure you do ICO because it's looking for an icon file. So... I've got that, so what I'm going to do is right-click on this new solitaire shortcut that I've made, and then left-click on Properties. And here it'll allow you to change the icon. So I'm going to click on Change the Icon, and I'm going to browse to that little file I just downloaded, which is on my desktop, solitaire.ico. Click on Open, click on OK, and then Apply or whatever, and now I have a solitaire icon on my Windows 8 desktop for the Windows 8 app. Double-click on it. It opens the solitaire collection from uh, Microsoft. So it's a wonderful thing. It's a nice little shortcut. It's going to make a lot of people very, very happy. And uh, that's really all that's involved in it. So this is Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN with Computer Care Clinic's Tip of the Day.